You're crazy. People are always saying that. Loose Cannon, a special two-hour movie, Thursday. The marriage is over, but the sparks are still flying. It's not like him to be so late. Igniting. Come on, Alan Michael. Make my dreams come true. Passion. He's got someone there with him. And someone's going to get burned this week on Guiding Light. This is CBS. What a dreary day. Claims heterosexual AIDS is a myth, but has he got evidence to prove it? On hard copy, tonight at 7 on 2. How the hell did you track me down? I know you're a good detective, but this is ridiculous. Well, I got a friend at Scotland Yard. He ran a check on all the top hotels. He found out that you were registered here, but, uh, shh. Top secret police procedure. <laughs> so. Listen, Kirk, I was hoping that, uh... You might be able to give me some more information on spotting Barbara. I, I wish Heathrow. I could, Hal, but it was a fleeting glance, and Ellie and I aren't even sure it was Barbara. Have some tea. Thanks. You know, I've been all over hell trying to make some sort of a logical connection. I've talked to so many people. I even talked to Dusty Donovan and Bob Hughes' sister, Penny. Well, what happens if you don't make a connection? Well, I fly to Rome. I know that Barbara went through customs there. Oh, well, that's something. Listen, Kirk, I don't want to tell you this, but I have to tell you this. Um, I ran into Iva at the hospital before I left Oakdale. I was hoping maybe she could tell me something about where you were staying. And or you didn't know that we'd you. broken and up. I didn't know that you had broken up, so it was uh, a little uncomfortable, I guess. She also told me about you and Ellie. Yes, Lenore. <laughs> Are Stephen and Linda Ann with you? Oh, no, they're with my parents in Maine. You wouldn't believe the gyrations I had to go through to convince them they couldn't come along. They still go on and on about their vacation yes, at the farm. <laughs> well, it was a special time for all of us. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, Iva. It's all right. Uh, I I've been wanting to come and see you ever since I heard that you and Kirk broke up. I was filled in a little by Uncle Jared. I know that if the situation were reversed, you'd be there for me. Of course. Uh, tea? Would you like some tea? Yes. Yeah. Great, okay. Be right back. Mm, but it's a shame uh, that you didn't go to Europe with Emily. Oh, I know. She offered, but if I go on a vacation, I want to be completely alone. I'm not sure that's a very good idea right now. Well, don't worry. I'm not going to go anywhere until I'm completely through withdrawal. Well, maybe you're through the worst of it now. Oh, I hope so. Sometimes it seems like it's going to last forever. Hey, uh, sorry to barge in on lunch. Um, I just think Casey could really use a pep talk. Why? What's up? That Kryptonian made some remark about Casey's situation being a real downer. He hated Casey pretty hard. I, I, I tried to get through to him, but he's not listening to anyone. Well, I'll go talk to him. Thanks, Thanks for lunch. Mm. See you later. Thanks. Hey, Pop. Well, there? What's going on? <laughs> You'll never guess who's out at the mansion for lunch. Who? Lucy herself. Mm -hmm. So I picked up Bianca and her friend at school and gave him a ride home for lunch. And Lucy was driving in right as I was pulling out. Yeah? Bianca said Lucy wanted to come home to have lunch with Bianca to find out how her placement exam went. Well, fine. Maybe she's getting her priorities straight. No more excuses, old darling. No. Good heavens, if McKechnie can get an interview, then you can. Yes, Ambrose, I want you to press harder. Duke's family tree is shaky, and I want to shake it up some more, all right? Just do it, and get back to me when you have the information that I want. No, I haven't heard anything back from Kirk at all. He's still on the trail of the elusive Mr. Kruger, though. By the way, darling, that's to be top secret. Yeah. Because I think... <laughs> I think I'm a little paranoid since... John dropped that remark around Miss Pussycat. Yeah, if Lily heard it, then I'm sure she went right to Blake and Sean Baxter. Yeah. I'm betting on Kirk, no matter what, okay? But let's keep this in the strictest of confidence. The world turns.
This portion brought to you today by Fleischmann's Margarines, 100% pure corn oil goodness and no cholesterol. Because of high cholesterol, one out of four adults is gambling with heart disease. One out of four. You can leave it to chance, or you can do something about it. Diets low in cholesterol and saturated fats can actually help reduce your cholesterol and odds of heart disease. Fleischmann's margarine has zero cholesterol, low saturated fat. Fleischmann's margarine, because your heart is in your hands. I hate guilt. That's why I love wheat thins and now oat thins too. Look, whole oat grains baked right in. Now, do I love oat thins as much as my wheat thins? Yeah. Am I feeling a little guilty about that? Nah. Here are two great new ways to enjoy Triscuit. Triscuit Bits and Triscuit Tons. Same big crunch, same weedy taste. Look for Triscuit Bits in stores right now. As for Triscuit Tons, we're still uh, working on the box. <laughs> Spend a little time in Hidden Valley, and you'll discover that you can't rush the growing season. You can't cheat on freshness. And there's just no substitute for Hidden Valley Ranch. The dressing that brings your salad that valley fresh taste. Hidden Valley Ranch. It's the original. I don't want to go into all the gory details, but Susan is becoming an eyesore. I mean that she makes my eyes sore. All right, Ambrose? Now, I've had an idea. I want you to get in touch with my friend at Holzer Management in L.A., and let's see if we can come up with something to dangle in front of Emily. Yeah. Well, she's broke, darling. I think she needs some money. She might jump. And if she decides she wants to go out west, fine. Then we think of something else. Yeah, no, for Susan. Some sort of a, oh, a research job. Maybe they want to go out west in their wagons together. All right? It would be my, <laughs> yes, my wildest dream come true. Darling, I have to go because I'm lunching with, with my daughter in a minute. No, <laughs> not Lily, my new daughter, Bianca. Oh, tell me more about that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it took no. so long. I just wanted Rosa to make a few special things. I, I hope you weren't too bored. No, no, not Marco. for a minute. Oh, that's fine. Oh. Okay, we're in the Marco. library. Oh, hello, darling. Hello. I was just in here. I didn't see you. Oh. You're hiding out for me. No, no. <laughs> How was the test? I um, I think I did all right. Well, and who have we here? This is um, Courtney Baxter, and uh, she's new at Oakdale High also. She's yes. been helping me through my nervousness. Yeah, very Hello. nice to meet you. Nice you must be uh, Sean Baxter's little sister. Yeah, right. He's your daughter Lily's business partner. Right. Yes, I, I asked Courtney to uh, join us for lunch. Fine. I'm so glad that Bianca has a new friend. Me too. We'll yes. Put the books down. We'll have oh. something very festive. Hi, we can start. Hi. 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 Yes, pussycat. Oh, my cup runneth over. Can you stay to lunch? Yes. Yeah, All right, right I'll tell Rosa to put another place in. I am today. here to find out how your placement Matthew! exam went. Matthew! I think I did all right. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure you did great. Hi. Hi. Has she given you a, a tour of the mansion here? Oh, yes. She gave me a tour of the mansion, and it is oh. so beautiful. With all the gardeners coming in and out and everything going on, it's just busy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Isn't this nice? Ladies' lunch. <laughs> One thing you can say about this place, it's never a dull moment. <laughs> Have you seen Andy around the campus? Yeah, I've seen him around. He pretty much looks like the same old self. Yeah, I'm hoping he's finally off the bottle now. Me too. That'd be nice. You know, maybe you ought to keep an eye on him, you know? Hmm. Drop in his apartment maybe from time to time and do a little checking. Excuse me, yeah. uh, but uh, I know you mean well, Duke, but... Just remember, it is Andy's battle. Huh? Well, I think we all know that. The important thing is that we agree upon how we're going to handle this. Well, I don't think Andy should be handled right now. His self-esteem is running on empty. And what's the use? I'll see you later. Oh, hi. I'm all finished with Tony. Oh, nuts. I'm too late. Huh? I'm sorry, but Susan and I had to go ahead with lunch. I'm late for rounds. <gasps> oh. oh, uh... 
Duke just told me that Casey overheard Tonio say that uh, he thought his condition was a downer. Oh, God, no. I was so hoping he didn't hear that. I tell Tonio is absolutely the most insensitive person. No, he's a real sweetheart. I, I think you should think about leaving that station once your contract is up. Well, I don't know that that would solve anything. Besides, I've worked very hard to make the show a success. And there's certainly no guarantee about the sleaze that Tony Owen Blythe would put on to replace me. Well, at least uh, consider the option. Okay. Okay. Listen, I got back to Margot and told her that your schedule is clear tonight, so we're due there for dinner, okay? Yeah, I should be out of here by five. Hey, who knows? Maybe we'll have a few minutes alone and we can talk about our anniversary. Let's make the town. Okay. Mm. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Well, I hope this is all right. Oh. There you go. You know, uh, Norman, you're welcome to stay at the farm with us if you like. Oh, thank you, Emma. No, I've taken a room at the Lakeview. Uh, well, actually, I have to confess there's another reason for my visit. I've, uh, I was hoping that you could help me make up my mind about something that I think is important. Well, sure. What is it? I'm afraid that Kirk is reverting back to his old ways. He used to be so selfish. He never seemed to know the meaning of the word loyalty. And if that's the case now, I really have to think about his influence on the children. I think I may have to refuse him visitation rights. Please, Lenore, don't. Please don't even consider that. That would be the worst possible thing that you could do to Kirk right now. Oh, listen, my uh, lunch date fell through. You want to join me? Sure, I had uh, something to eat over at Lila's with Margo. I'll keep you company. Thank you. As a matter of fact, I had a little talk with Margo. She seems to think I'm monopolizing too much, monopolizing too much of your time with Andy's problems, and it's sort of causing friction between you and Bob. And I also got the feeling that uh, Bob had spoken to her about it, and it was his sentiments as well. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to react like that. It's just that I know how much Kirk loves those children. I want to believe that, too, Ivan. But he hasn't seen them in a long while. And the last time he called, he talked about bringing someone with him. Now I know that that must have been Ellie. And I think that's the last possible thing that children should have to deal with. I think they're confused enough as it is. Well, that tears it. Penny spoke to Sabrina. Barbara hasn't been in touch with her either. Oh, so what do you do next? Oh, well, I'm going to fly to Italy right now. Get in touch with Franco Visconti, the guy that Barbara designs for over there. Listen, if you should happen to run into Barbara again, you just call my friend at Scotland Yard. You contact him, he always knows how to contact me, okay? Okay, I will, but Ellie and I are planning to head back to Zurich if we don't find our prospect here. Yeah, well, in that case, you know, you might contact Emily Stewart. She and I took the same plane to New York, and then she made the Zurich connection. She was kind of vague about what the trip was all about, but it sounded like some sort of a big deal for Sean and Lily. I gotta go. Catch a plane. Okay. Thanks, Kirk. I'll see you. Good luck, Hal. Bye. Emily's after Kruger. Gotta be it. How to make a Ritz sandwich for Mom. First, they take a Ritz cracker and put on lots of cheese. Then another Ritz cracker. Then some bloony. Then we're gonna take another Ritz cracker. Now some peanut butter. Then another Ritz crack. Then some salami. Another Ritz cracker. Then a pickle. Ritz, the perfect cracker. Then some pepperoni. Neville, I thought I said no eating cookies in bed. It's not a cookie, Mother. It's a fruit gluten. Oh, carry on then, carry on. A cookie is just a cookie, but Newton's are fruit and cake. Cynthia, you take the last fig, Newton. I'll make do with this cookie. Not a bit of it, Charles. We'll share the Newton. What a splendid gesture. A cookie is just a cookie, but Newton's are fruit and cake. The garbage bag you choose can make the job a hassle or a cinch. Cinch, cinch, cinch! Hassle, hassle, hassle! Cinch, hassle! Just pull the super strong cinch on a hefty cinch sack bag. Don't just get rid of the garbage, get rid of the hassles. Hefty, hefty cinch sack! At Western Union, we not only invented the business of sending money, we've been perfecting it ever since. 
Still, you could try using someone else. You could also go clam digging in a minefield. Western Union. Why even consider anyone else? Go beyond the American dream into the American fantasy. Beverly Hills is really not a place. It's a state of mind. 48 Hours on Easy Street, Thursday. And I still have nightmares about the guards coming to find my mother. She would let them violate her so that I would be safe. They humiliated her, took away her dignity. <laughs> and I was the lucky one because my mother sacrificed herself for me. Oh, Franny, they just made sex so dirty and so ugly. And you know, they gave you a very distorted picture of something that can be beautiful between a man and a woman in love. But my past just makes me so unsure about myself when it comes to men. I, I, I feel like I'm cheating, Duke. You know, he's so used to these women who are so comfortable with their sexuality, like, like Julie and, and this girl, Terry. Leanne, Leanne, don't ever confuse being comfortable with being promiscuous. You've got to remember, you've come a very long way just being able to talk about this right now. I know it's not easy, but if you could talk to Duke oh. about your feelings, you know, just try to be really honest and uh, tell him, tell him how you really feel. I think it would help him to understand you better. Do you promise me one thing? Don't let him or any other man push you into something that you are not ready for. Oh, but you know, Duke thinks that I have all these hang-ups. All the more reason to talk to him about it, right? You know, Leanne, no matter what your friends say, there's nothing wrong with, with waiting until you are really in love and and have found that, that one person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. I know. And believe me, it's a heck of a lot better than playing the fields these days. Beth Knob. Mm. Hi, hey, come on in. Come in. Barge in, but I have a new volunteer. Oh, yeah. hello. What are you doing down here? Well, I saw Leanne on the campus yeah. today, and, and she said she was coming by, so... Well, I was thinking more about what you said about talking to the kids at the center about my drinking problem. Oh, you are a sweetheart. It's going to make such a difference. Thank you. Sure. Oh, um, uh, Lynn, uh, Margaret just called and asked us to come over for dinner. <laughs> oh, oh, well, um, it would be great if you can make it. Yeah, I hope I can if I can drag my handsome <laughs> Scotsman husband. Oh, well, your Scotsman husband is right yeah. here in Lassie Heidi. Speaking of that, oh, well, what do we owe this honor, sir? I need an excuse to see my lady. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm sure Andy and Leanne won't mind if I just drag you away from I don't think they'll mind. No, no problem at all. Sure. And what's your excuse, my dear husband? Oh, only that my wife is so incredibly gorgeous, I can't stand to be away from her for one second. <laughs> Did you and Kim set a date to do patterns? I'm not so sure I'm gonna do it. Wait a minute, you agreed. Well, so I changed my mind. Is there a law against it? Ooh, what's bugging him? Well, Tony, I was by here earlier talking with Kim about the show, and he made some remark about Casey's situation being too depressing for TV. We've tried to get him out of this mood, but he can't seem to shake it. Well, Mom will get him out of it. That's true if anyone can. Yeah. Hey, how's Leanne? Well, why don't you come by and see for yourself? You know you're always welcome at our house. Uh, thanks, but the last time we talked didn't go so well. Well, maybe it will next time. You don't seem like the kind of guy who gives up on a good thing so easily. Gotta go. Sis. I don't want to talk about it. Do I have to put every feeling I have into words? No. No, but I guess it's a two-way street, though, you know. So, okay. Okay, the next time that I'm feeling kind of down or a little bit tired, uh, maybe I just won't feel like letting you know what's going on either, okay? Okay, well, I'm going to work now, so I'll see ya. Wait, 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 Lila, wait. I'm sorry, okay? It's not fair, you're right. Tonio came in here with Kim and she was trying to sell him on the idea of having me and the vets on patterns and he just thinks that an audience would find it depressing to see a bunch of handicapped people on TV. 
Tonio? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Why do you let a man like Tonio get to you? Well, he's a jerk, but he makes a point. You know, a lot of people feel uncomfortable around disabled folks. Well, I guess they better grow up, huh? People like Tonio, they don't realize it could be them in the wheelchair. That kind of ignorance is just, it's... <laughs> Come on. And if I should ever see Tonio talking like that in front of me, boy, it's gonna be the left. You tell him, Lila. Eh. Tony, it was a creep. Anyway, I'm glad to see my buddy here is in such good hands and I can go back to work. Will you get out of here? Your chillfulness is driving me crazy. That's gratitude for you, huh? Not gonna get rid of me so easily. I'll see you at quitting time, all right? All right. Hey, Mr. Hughes. How's it going? Fine. I was hoping I'd run into Margo. Oh, actually, you just missed her, but I'll be seeing you later. She told me to come by the house so I can, you know, patch things up with Leanne. Dude. I'd like you to stay away from Leanne. Why? I know we have our problems, but Mr. Hughes, you know I really care about Leanne. Oh, I see. So that's the reason that you had this one night stand. Leanne told me all about it. I, I can explain. Look, that. I'm I am not interested in your explanations any more than than my daughter is. Your your backgrounds, your attitudes about love, sex, romance, they're from two different worlds. Look, my daughter's had enough trouble adjusting without worrying whether or not you're gonna proposition her around every corner. She's off limits. Is that clear? When that dry cleaning bill isn't a thrill, trust Woolite in your machine. It cleans really well with no dry cleaning smell. Woolite in your machine. To your dry cleaner say, we don't want our whites to gray. From country wear to city wear, whatever clothes need special care, trust in your machine. Every second of an asthma attack can feel like an eternity. That's why there's Primatine Mist. Primatine opens clogged breathing tubes, restores free breathing in as fast as 15 seconds. So you're breathing easy in practically no time. Primatine Mist, the fastest type relief known. And for hours of relief, Primatine tablets with the asthma reliever doctors recommend most. I'm dreaming of summer. When I want that feeling, Summer's Eve takes me there. It's clean, fresh feeling, keeps the good times on my mind. Summer's Eve brings back freshness anytime. Bring back the fresh, cool, clean feeling of summer anytime with Summer's Eve. It's clean, fresh feeling, keeps the good times on my mind. Summer's Eve brings back freshness anytime. Tonight, following Jake and the Fat Man. Vinny Terranova, desperate, on the run. I'm a button man for the bureaucracy. Running from his past. You can't hide from a friend. Into a deadly future. I'm sorry I ran on you, Frank. Frank! But his best friend could pay the price. An all-new wise guy, tonight. The Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, Friday. Uh, Michael, uh is right. You know, I do have this tendency to develop tunnel vision when I'm involved in a crisis, and I, I certainly hope that my concern about Andrew's problems isn't causing harm for you and Bob. Well, yes, there's tension, but Bob certainly understands that it's important for me to have my focus on Andy right now. And Andy's going to get back on his feet again, and then everything's going to calm down. And I will sort things out. I'm going to pass on lunch. You know, I'm glad my daughter didn't fall for any of your second-rate excuses. Now, you might be used to jumping in the sack with girls like Julie. I happen to be proud of my daughter for rejecting you. Come on, man. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? I made a mistake. You're damn right about that one. <clears throat> what was that about? It's about Leanne. I've been holding back on that one for a long time now. Well, I tell you, I'm just about running out of rope with Dr. Dixon, too. Come on. And man, and I can't believe Leanne went and told her father about Terry. Now he says she's off limits. Forget about him. You know, I'd like to teach both of them a lesson sometime. The Hughes clan does not run this town. So I thought you'd want to hear about Emily right away. Oh, it's strange, isn't it? Now, Lily. Well, I guess she overheard John's remark. You don't have to worry about it, though, darling. 
Kruger's not going to go for a little company like hers. Maybe not, but I hear he has a weakness for sexy, attractive women, and Emily Stewart sure fits that bill. I've got a call in to Jim Fleming. He's going to help me pinpoint Kruger. Well, follow him. Follow him to Timbuktu if you have to. <laughs> Is your mother always on the phone this much? No. Well, oh, no, only when she's awake. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, when she's sleeping. <laughs> I'm glad you two got to know each other. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, it's all because of Duke. Duke just he, uh, introduced us. I don't think that um, your mother is Duke's biggest fan. Well, you catch on pretty well, fast. Yeah, well. Courtney, I don't remember her saying anything about Duke over lunch. Bye-bye. Um, All right, my darling. Now, once more, you have my undivided attention. Well, I've got to go back to the office. Yeah? Thanks for lunch. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, uh, uh, what, something hot going on over there? Mm, not really. <sighs> <laughs> oh, fussy cat. I've been thinking about your business. And I've been thinking, uh -huh. I think maybe you're overstaffed. I mean, think. So. You've got uh, Blake mm -hmm. and Sean and, and Emily on your payroll. Mm -hmm. What does Emily actually do <laughs> for you these days, you know? Well, she is terrific with our clients, and she handles the more delicate assignments. The male clients. No, that's not fair. Lily, um, do you think that you could give us a ride back to school? Sure, sure, um, come on. Thanks, because I want to show Bianca around. Um, and thank you for lunch. <laughs> oh, sure, darling. And it was a pleasure nice meeting meet you. you, Mrs. Walsh uh, Dixon. I knew I was going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> bye, dear. Have okay, bye bye, you too. Okay. <laughs> oh, Mother, next time Kirk calls, will you send him my best? And tell him I hope he enjoys London as I always have. Lenore, why don't you join us for lunch? Iva has to work. Oh, thanks, Emma, but I don't want to intrude. You wouldn't be intruding at all. I mean, Kat would love to see you, and I'd love you to meet my new daughter-in-law, Julie. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uncle Jared told me that <laughs> Caleb got married. Congratulations. Now, I insist. Please come with us. Well, all right. I'd good, love to. Good, 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 good. All right, well, then I'll meet you, uh, oh, excuse me, after work then, okay? Yes. Yeah. Hello? Iva, it's Kirk. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kirk. I, I just, uh... You're the last person on earth I expected to call me. I'd like to tell you the Surgeon General of the United States has recommended whole wheat total. He hasn't. What he has recommended are seven guidelines for nutritious eating. One leading cereal meets them all. That cereal is total. That's right. This one. Whole wheat total. So while I, I can't tell you the Surgeon General recommends total, I can tell you, Total has everything the Surgeon General recommends. Butter? Billy. Thank you. Looks good, doesn't it? Ounce for ounce, Philly cream cheese has half the calories of butter or margarine. Next time, butter your bread with Philly instead. Right now, you're just 90 seconds away from Chef Boyardee with microwave meals. Chef Boyardee pasta, hot and tasty. And with no messy cleanup, Chef Boyardee Microwave Meals. Thank goodness, in just 90 seconds. Now, for every time life turns up the heat. I told you we wouldn't know anybody. A new kind of antiperspirant. Degree. Total strangers. I see that. New Degree is body heat activated. Every time your body heat rises, Degree kicks in with extra protection. <gasps> Precisely when you need it most. Degree has you covered. It's about time. Hey. Hey. New Degree protects you most when you need it most. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. This is it. CBS Soap Central, where you can call to get a free picture of the CBS Soap Star of the Day. Free photos from The Young and the Restless, The Bold and the Beautiful, as the world turns, and guiding light. Order your picture today. Call 1-900-773-SOAP. That's 1-900-773-SOAP. This is CBS. We used to shop, and Mom would never buy anything for herself because it, she didn't feel that it looked nice on her. I don't think my mom realizes how good she looks now. The program that Jenny Craig has designed really works. People used to always ask me, oh, how old is your mom? She looks so young. But 
now they see her and they say, that's your mom. <laughs> she looks so great. Now you can. Lose all the weight you want for only $185 service fee. Call 1-800-76-GEN. Pregnancy, palimony, property, prenuptials, and Ivana plays her Trump. Divorce Wars, the new frontier. Next, Geraldo. Today at 4. Some people will go to any lengths to bring home the fresh taste of Chi-Chi salsa. May I have some uh, mild salsa, please? Sure. Thank you. Now they can just go to the store and buy it. Chi-Chi's restaurante-style salsa. Hot and mild with real vegetable chunks. Check, please. Chi-Chi's restaurante-style salsa. Now at your grocer's. She had to be in charge. 24 hours a day. On the next Joan Rivers, Lucy Arnaz looks at both sides of life with Lucy. Tomorrow morning at 9. And now, part two of As the World Turns. I feel I owe you an apology. I saw Hal earlier, and he told me that he'd gone to you to find out where I was staying. I'm sorry about that. I realize that I've put you in the position of having to explain everything to everybody. So if it'll make it easier, just put all the blame on me. Well, I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to blame anybody. I, I just told Hal the truth without going into details. Well, it must have been tough to talk about Ellie. Well, it, it was. But it was either that or you being surprised in London by Hal. So I, I just, uh, I, I didn't want you to be embarrassed. Well, that's very much like you. Thanks. So, uh, Lenora's here. Are the kids okay? Has something happened? Oh, uh, no, no, they're fine. Uh, they're visiting their grandparents in Maine. Well, you know, I've been thinking so much about them with Easter coming up. I was thinking I might be able to stop by over a weekend, but I don't think I'm going to be back in the States in time. Can I speak to Lenore? Oh, sure, hang on. Kirk wants to speak with you. Lenore, it, it's about the children. All right. Hello, Kirk. No, the kids are... I, I can't believe that he called all the way from Europe because I was worried about my feelings. Of course he's worried about your feelings. He still cares for you. You know that. Kirk, I don't want to get into this over the phone. Come on, Lenore. You're not being reasonable. Why? Because I don't want you to turn their lives upside down again? Kirk, I, I mean this. I don't want you bringing Ellie when you come to visit the kids. Hey, I think it's great that you're going to do a little volunteer work, Andy. Well, I think it's about time I started helping other people. As long as it doesn't get in the way with my classes and my AA meetings. When was your last AA meeting, Andy? Oh, it was last night on campus. It feels really good to be back on top of things again. Well, Liam, we're going to hurry. We have to hurry because we're going to miss the boat. Oh, okay, sure, I'm ready. Um, I'll see you guys later. Oh, I'll see you. Okay. Thank you, Franny. Oh, see you later, Sean. Bye-bye. <laughs> hang in right? there. Okay. Bye-bye. Now you know where you're going, right? Yes. Okay. I see what you mean about Andy having to be the perfect role model, the perfect student, the perfect human being. You know, this whole offer of his to volunteer at the castle, it, it, it's just part of his act. But I just can't pin him down to anything specific. You know, I... He just says all the right things, and he's trying too hard to impress too many people. Well, he's got a good-looking sister. Let's see what we got here. It's just a little bit cold out here, isn't it? Well, just move over a little bit. Well, we gotta sell some fried chicken, but wait a second, wait. We have one drumstick, and it's a small one. Here. No, 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 you take it. I'll, I'll have a breast. All right. Do you want the drumstick? <laughs> no, of course not. We decided you have the drumstick, I'll have the drumstick. You can have the drumstick if you really what want. What I really want is you. Mm. But I'll take the drumstick. Yeah! Yeah! What? You're an evil woman. No. <laughs> Come on. Mm, it's really good. No, no. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> Oops. Well, 
I guess you could sell for a breast. Or a thigh. Lying here with you like this just might be the closest thing to heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. And my love for you is every bit as strong as these old castle walls. Oh, that's good. Because these walls are going to stick around for a long time. Aye, and so will we. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, I got an estimate on the state of the art security system for the warehouse. Mm -hmm. So we will never again be bothered by unwelcome visitors. Mm. Good. When, when can it be installed? Well, that's the catch. It has to be custom made because the building is so old. Mm. Speaking of custom made, I wish I could get something custom made to keep you from reminiscing about your past and daydreaming over old <sighs> photos. I can't believe you're still letting that bother you. It doesn't. Forget I said anything. Okay. Doesn't bother me a bit. Any news of your brother? No. Mark said that he's going to call as soon as he hears from him again. Ah. Maybe that's him. <clears throat> Hello? Emily! How's Switzerland? <laughs> what? He did. Gavin remembered me. <laughs> well, have you seen him yet? Ah. Uh, mm, well, I want to know the whole story, every last detail, okay? Oh, sure. Just a minute. You won't believe this. Gavin not only remembered me as Aaron, of course, but he's meeting Emily in Zurich tonight. Emily, be sure and tell Gavin that I... that I am married now, and I am living happily ever after in Oakdale. Next! <laughs> Sorry, this Easter, lots of bunnies are trying to be the Cadbury Bunny. But there's only one Cadbury Bunny, and he brings the two candies perfect for Easter. Cadbury's mini eggs with their sugar shell and milk chocolate inside, and Cadbury's cream eggs with their chocolate shell and creamy filling. Which is why no bunny knows Easter better than him. Hey! In an independent survey, parents compared play school sounds around to see and say, and two to one preferred sounds around with the easy pull handle. See, cookie. Sounds around, sounds around, play school sounds. Sounds around has Sesame Street characters. See, cookie. Play school sounds around, fly, red, paper, talk. I live on Sesame Street. Play school sounds around, see. Say hi to Grover. Hi, Ann. Listen, I've only got a minute, but I can talk. I'm just cleaning. New Pine Sol Spruce Ups, the pre-moistened cleaner in a cloth. They clean, wipe, and dry in one stroke. Free up your day. Spruce Up with Spruce Ups in lemon or fresh scent. Look at that smile. Sensational. She uses Pearl Drops. Pearl Drops has more polishing power than ever to help get your teeth whiter. So, fashion, Pearl Drops. Shine it. Hey, I hear Max been with the commissioner all morning. What's going on? Yeah, well, he's thinking of um, giving up some of his responsibilities around here for a while. Well, good. That's good news. Good for him. As long as you've informed him that you won't be picking up any of those responsibilities. You've done that, right? Well, honey, I thought it would be good to see what they offer me first, because it's not like we're pregnant already, and, and it's good money, it's great benefits. What about the benefits? Of being a full-time wife and mother. Oh, sweetheart, I know we talked Can about that. Can we not that. talk about promotions anymore, please? Yes, sir, absolutely, I sir. I know when I'll wear you, the people's choice. People's choice, sir. People's choice, sir. <laughs> sir, excuse Don't get me. That. Detective Hughes. Hell, hi, how are you? What's up? Have you found Barbara? Okay, bye-bye, bye. No, no, I'm here. What about Scotland Yard? Well, Inspector Dignam's gonna keep a running check on all the hotels in and around London. And I met with Kirk, but he couldn't tell me anything new, so I'm headed to Rome to meet with Visconti. 
I hate to say this, Margot, but I'm afraid maybe it's a little bit late for me to save my marriage. Oh, hell, I just, I don't believe that. Barbara loves you. What woman in her right mind could resist that ugly mug of yours? Thanks, Hughes. I can always depend on you to give me a big lift. <laughs> Listen, give Adam a hug for me. Oh, and will you call Paul, fill him in? Sure, I will. And you have a safe trip. Thanks. Margo? I love you. I love you, too. Yes, Duke. I'm going to be here all afternoon. I promised Margo I was going to start dinner. Uh, yes, I want you to come, OK? But this time, let's be a little bit more patient with each other. OK, I'll see you then. Bye. <sighs> hey, I hate to butt in, but uh, more problems with Duke? Yeah, we've been pretty hard on each other. I'm sorry to hear that. It's weird how everything changes, you know? I, mean, yeah. I have a lot of memories of this place. Yeah? Us, you know, I mean, remember when we were dating? Of course. Things were so simple back then. Wait a minute, I don't remember it being so simple with you. All right, all uh, right, all right. Andy, I know you've been having a really hard time. Look, maybe this girl that you met in Chicago is just a person who's going to help you get over Julie. Why does it have to always go back to Julie, Leanne? Well... But anyway, I thought you and Duke had it made. Yeah, so did I. You know, caring for someone certainly gets complicated, huh? Then let's make it uncomplicated. Next time each of us falls in love, I mean... We should call the shots. Not let anything stand in our way. Sounds good. <laughs> I'll help you with that. Oh, no, I can handle it. Uh, do you need anything? Uh, you want a soda? No, or... I, can't, I can't say I have to pick up some stuff at the photo supply. Oh, OK. I'll let myself out, though. All right. OK? Yeah. Uh, I had a really nice time. <laughs> Man. I just want to say, I just want to say that you are more beautiful now than the first moment I saw you. I mean that. I know you don't believe it sometimes, but really, believe it. Well, thanks. I had a wonderful time today, too. Good. Let yourself out, huh? I'll call you soon, okay? Yeah, okay. Flexible to me. I don't think there's any problem with you taking a vacation, but uh, may I make a suggestion as a friend? Why don't you wait till Emily gets back and you could do something with, you know, together? I don't understand why everybody's so worried about my travel plans. The last thing I need is for you to. Hey, Pop. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm in a bind. Uh, Leanne tells me now she wants to talk. Well, isn't that what you wanted? Yeah, but her fa father says she's off limits now. But see, I didn't tell Leanne that. So what do I do? Oh, I told you before, forget about the two of them. He, he's just like his old man. He's throwing his weight around. Forget them. They're both full of hot air. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just going to talk to Leanne. How dare you talk about, about Bob used that way? Duke has to work with him. He respects him. So does everybody else in this hospital. I never knew you were a fan of Bob Hughes. Well, I am now. He's one of the kindest, most compassionate men I've ever known. And I don't want to hear you putting him down to Duke or anybody else. Who? What was that all about? She's defending Bob Hughes. Ooh. Well, Tom, that may come as a surprise to you. It doesn't seem strange to me at all. What goes first, the graham cracker, the marshmallow, or the chocolate? Gee, s'mores are hard to make. Hey, who ate the chocolate? Now there's a new way to enjoy the campfire goodness of s'mores. New Suddenly S'mores. Just pop them in the microwave and they turn into an ooey-gooey chocolatey fudge graham sandwich. New Suddenly S'mores. Suddenly the great taste of s'mores in seconds. 
With Lunchables lunch combinations from Oscar Mayer, your lunch will never be the same. Because Lunchables combine fresh meats and cheeses with crisp crackers. It's a really good lunch in one handy pack. So how about a feast of Munster and roast beef? You couldn't do better than chicken and cheddar or pile on bologna, salami, or colby. Attack a stack of Monterey Jack, add turkey and wheat, and your lunch is complete with ham and Swiss on rye you can't miss. <sighs> with eight varieties of Lunchables, your lunch will never be the same. Lunch, 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 it's Lunchables. From Oscar Mayer. Now there's a flashlight that doesn't just show kids what's ahead of them, but what's around them, too. The flashlight that turns into a lantern from Fisher-Price. The Fisher-Price water barrel makes it easy to cultivate an interest in gardening. In fact, with its working garden hose and realistic features, it's amazing what a little squirt can do in the garden. The Fisher-Price water barrel with working garden hose. Keep that shower fresh feeling all day with new, even wider Band Solid. New Band Solid, now extra wide. Keep that shower fresh feeling all day. Your own milk. It's the perfect food for your baby. But should you need a formula, none is more nutritious than Gerber baby formula. If it doesn't come from you, shouldn't it come from Gerber? Emily, this is what I have been hoping for. I knew I could pull it off. Listen, did, did Kruger mention anything about Kirk? That was our ace. Oh, I can't wait to tell the boys. Listen, uh, keep me posted. All right, we'll keep in touch. Thank you. Good news? The best news. Sean is going to be ecstatic. Oh, perfect. Because my English teacher gave me detention for missing class, Sean would absolutely kill me if he found out. Well, we can keep it our secret, but just this once. Thanks, Lily. You're welcome. So, uh, everything worked out with Emily and the business trip to Switzerland? How did you know about Emily? Oh, I just overheard your mom on the phone. Oh? What else did you hear? Nothing much. I was, I don't know, not really trying to listen or anything. So. Well, I finally got Kip Reinhold to meet with us. I expected you an hour ago. Uh, that can wait. Emily just called, and she's had her first meeting with Gavin Kruger. Yeah. I mean, it was just for a few minutes, but, but she said there's going to be another one. Sending Emily was the right move. You are brilliant. <laughs> and this is the biggest thing that's ever happened in this company. If we can just pull it off, we okay? We will pull it off. What's the biggest thing? We just got a solid lead on a monster account. It's almost time to celebrate. Well, oh, well, I mean, don't, don't get premature. According to Courtney, Lucinda knows about this. And she's going to pull out all the stops, believe you me. I don't know what she's gonna do. Wait a second, when did my little sister become the corporate spy, huh? <laughs> I was just over at Lily's. I'm friends with Bianca. We're having lunch, and I overheard her on the phone. So you mm -hmm. just thought you'd listen to them. Oh, no, I, but, I don't think there's anything to worry about. I, feel, I still think that we're a step ahead. Now, I, I gotta run. I promised I would be at the hospital. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got a great idea. My folks are gonna have dinner over at Tom and Margo's, so... What do you say I cook for the three of us at the house, and I'll see if Andy can join us? Yeah, I think so. Thank you, Franny. But actually, Lily already invited me to have dinner with her right before Sean walked in. Oh. Right. <clears throat> I'll call you, and we can set up a time. Bye, bud. Bye-bye. In the future, I'd like to know your plans ahead of time. Oh, come on, Sean. I thought you'd be happy for me. I'm making new friends. That's not the point, and you know it. Montgomery and Associates. Oh, hi, Jess. What's up? Uh-huh. Well, at least Gail's talking to us, right? Oh, her lawyer is. Huh, I wonder how she got the money to pay for that. Wait, she's doing what? I, I can't believe this is happening to me. Susan? Oh, uh, Kim and I are going to Tom and Margo's for dinner. That's where I'll be if you need me. Oh, listen, if I get into any trouble, I'll just call Matt. Don't you need some time off from playing knight in shining armor? <laughs> Come on, I'm no knight in shining armor. Oh, yes, you are. You've been a really good friend to me. I don't know what I've done to matter? deserve such a good friend. What is it? Oh, it's stupid. I had a run in with John, you know, before, and then Lucinda shows up. I just have trouble lately keeping a lid on my feelings. You want to know a secret? I'd love to flatten John one of these days. I mean, really flatten him. 
I can't believe that. I mean, you always seem so calm and so, so in control. <laughs> well, you're wrong. But we can't let the John and Lucinda's of this world get to us. Ah, uh, you're right, as usual. You know, I, I really don't know how I would get through this if I didn't have your support. If I get through this at all, it's going to be because of you. Hey, wait a minute. Stop that. Don't ever underestimate what you're doing. I mean, you got the tough part. And I'm proud of you. You call me if you need me, huh? Okay, well, I think that seems like the most natural thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Dash, 14 herbs and spices for healthier flavor instead of salt. Your heart will thank you. If constipation slows you down, you need to know what doctors know, that fiber laxatives are a better way to relieve constipation. Fiberol has more fiber than Metamucil. Because only Fiberol adds healthy brand fiber. Fiberol, the one with more fiber. It improved my backhand. Direct really cut my cleaning time. Now I have time for tennis. Direct goes directly on, takes dirt directly off. It's great. No mixing, no rinsing, no hassles. It even cleaned my tennis shoes. Direct multi-purpose cleaner. There's more to life than cleaning. I get more emotional. Why do I get this way some months? Premenstrual syndrome, it's not in your head. Inside your body, a complex biochemical process can trigger premenstrual symptoms that can be relieved with the right medicine, Midol PMS, from the company that understands women. Mommy, I spilled grape juice on the carpet. That's okay. You must have stain-resistant carpet. Uh-uh. She uses Resolve Carpet Cleaner with DuPont Teflon. With Resolve, even grape juice comes out with ease. If you don't have stain-resistant carpet, Get Resolve with Teflon. I'm glad Lenore's in town. When are you guys going to dinner? Oh, I don't know. Um, after work, I guess. I just don't... I don't want to spend the whole evening talking about Kirk. Well, maybe that's not going to be such a bad idea. You know, it might force you to face up to a few things. Like what? <sighs> like the obvious. Iva, you are just as much in love with Kirk as you were before. And if you ask me, which, of course, you didn't, but the fact that he called you from London because he was worried about your feelings after talking with Hal, well, that only proves that he feels the same. I don't care if he's with Ellie. So get the bill ready and have a bellboy come up for our luggage as soon as possible. We're leaving for Zurich within the hour. Thank you. So it's only fair that we release each other from a commitment. It would be so much easier if I didn't love you so much. Ellie, I hope you're almost ready. The bellboy's coming up in a minute. And I never intended to hurt you. But I did, and I'm sorry. I know. I know, Duke. Come on. Uh, look. You were right to say that I have sexual hang-ups. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to be very honest about my feelings. I've already talked with my father and with Margot. Yeah, you sure did. Leanne, why did you have to tell your father about Terry? Look, I told him because I, I want to be very open about what I've been going through. This is really important for me, Duke. I understand it. It's tough, but, but I can handle it. Okay, because what's really important is what happens between us. Alicia still said there's an us. Look, this isn't easy for me to talk about my past, especially with you. But I want you to understand why I have these... Well, that, that I can't be as sexually free as you want me to be. When I... Hello. Oh, I'm Mr. Father. Hughes. Thought I told you to stay away from my daughter. Didn't I make myself clear? Can you believe we have a whole hour before we're due at Tom and Margot's? That's not wasted. 
I understand you've been talking to Margot about the time I've been spending with John. Did you ask Margot to talk to John about it? Yes, I did. I told her that he was monopolizing all of your time and it was affecting our relationship. Well, I really don't understand why you would do such a thing. Why go through Margot? Talk to John yourself, or better yet, talk to me. I mean, if you and I have a problem, then let's keep it between the two of us. That's all well and good for people who are able to talk to each other. When is the last time we've had five minutes, five lousy minutes, to talk about anything? <laughs> well, oh, oh, that's what I call a warm welcome. My goodness. Maybe we should continue that in the sauna. What would you say to that? Maybe. Hmm? I do like you in the sauna. I like to see <laughs> the sweat rolling down your <laughs> muscle. Tired. Ex you know, Don? Yeah. I've been thinking about you. You have a hard time with your staff at the hospital, which you have to put up with. Susan talking to you like that. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? No, I always thought she felt the same as I did about the Hughes bunch. Hmm. I can explain why there was a change of heart, if you want me to. Because I was at the hospital today, and I went down to the lab to say something to Casey, and everyone had gone home safe. Susan and Bob. Hmm. They were otherwise engaged. What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> they were in each other's arms. <laughs> Anyone who knows Easter knows Reese's peanut butter eggs are two great tastes mm. that taste great together. Reese's peanut butter Easter eggs, they're getting quite a reception. Powerful. Playful. Perfect. Navy. Exquisite, extravagant, unexpected, navy. You always feel perfect in navy. 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 The clean, classic fragrance like other girl. The tension mounts. The decision draws near. A new standard for gourmet taste is about to be established. And the critic's overwhelming choice. New fancy feast. The best tasting gourmet can cat food. So moist and delicious, cats preferred it over every leading brand. New fancy feast gourmet cat food. The feast cats fancy above all the rest. When constipation strikes, you feel bloated, twisted. You just can't go on. You want fast medicine. X-Lax, to put you back on top of the world. Fast. X-Lax, the right medicine. When Whoopi Goldberg's daughter stays out all night, things get too hot in the desert. You're trying to kill me, but you know what? I'm taking you with me. My Dad Cafe. Then, it's naughty. Wow. Versus nice, when two sisters go after the same guy. Man cannot live on push-up bras alone. Sugar and Spice, Friday. Some must face atrocity. It's like we're a bunch of guinea pigs for the chemical companies. While others must stand up to stop it. Oh, we did the right thing. Lee Majors, Carl Weathers, Tour of Duty, Saturday. <laughs> Blouses by Regina Porter. Join us tomorrow for As the World Turns. This is